King of Beards. This is my online shop where you can find products that will help you grow a strong, healthy beard. Use my coupon code KING, you'll get 15% off on your first order. Starting off at number 10, we have the origin of life. We all know that water is a basic need for life. And the Quran states, we made every living thing from water. Will they not believe? In this ayah, water is pointed out as the source of life. Scientifically, all living things are made up of cells that are mostly made up of water. For example, 80% of the cytoplasm of an animal cell is described as water in biology textbooks. This fact was only discovered by scientists after the invention of the microscope, and yet here we see it stated in the Quran long before. Coming up next, we have iron. Iron is unnatural to the earth and came down from outer space. Scientists found that billions of years ago, the earth was struck by meteorites carrying iron from distant stars which had exploded. The Quran states, we sent down iron with its great inherent strength and its many benefits for humankind. It is evident from this ayah that iron was sent down to earth for the benefit of humankind. Interestingly, this fact was acknowledged in the Quran way before it was discovered by scientists. Moving on to the sky's capacity to protect. The Earth's sky, or atmosphere, plays a crucial role in protecting life on Earth from the sun's ultraviolet radiation. It also insulates the Earth, keeping it warm and preventing extremes between day and night temperatures. The Quran states, We made the sky a protective ceiling, and yet they are turning away from our sign. The Quran points to the atmosphere's protecting abilities as a sign of Allah long before they were discovered by scientific research in the 20th century. Let's talk about the mountains. The Quran makes reference to mountains, stating, did we not make the earth a resting place and the mountains as stakes in the earth? The Quran references the fact that mountains have deep roots by using the word stakes to describe them. A book titled Earth by geophysicist Frank Press explains that mountains are like stakes buried deep under the surface of the earth. This fact was not discovered by man until after the development of the theory of plate tectonics in the 20th century, and yet it is clearly referenced in the Quran. All right, this next one is a big one, the expansion of the universe. Before it was ever found in textbooks, the expansion of the universe was already described in the Quran, saying, it is we who have built the universe with our creative power and keep expanding it. In his book, A Brief History of Time, physicist Stephen Hawking wrote, the discovery that the universe is expanding was one of the great intellectual revolutions of the 20th century. Amazingly though, the Quran mentioned this fact long before Stephen Hawking's book. Also, sound waves. According to the University of Washington, the original sound waves were not temperature variations, but they were actual real sound waves spreading around the universe. Now, in the Quran, Surah 41 verse 11 indicates this, and it says, Then he directed himself to the heaven when it was smoke, and then said to it and to the earth, Come willingly or by force. They said, We do come willingly. So the heaven replying back, implies that the heaven had a voice, which would mean it emitted a sound wave. Another miracle Muslims point to is high altitudes affect your breathing. As altitude increases, atmospheric pressures and oxygen levels in the atmosphere actually decrease, which eventually gets to a point where we can no longer breathe. Now, we all know this, the higher you go, the harder it is to breathe. Now, in the Quran, Surah 6 verse 125, it says this, those whom Allah wants to guide he opens their chest to Islam and those whom he wants to leave astray he makes their chest tight and constricted as if they are ascending 
to the sky. Bones forming before muscles is also another miracle. Apparently the first formation of actual bones happens in the jawbone at day 41 and about three days later that's when the associated muscles are formed. And in the Quran Surah 23 verse 14 it says, then we develop the semen into a leech, then we develop the leech into a lump, then we develop the lump into bones, then we clothe the bones with flesh, then we produce it into another creature. Most blessed is Allah the best of creators. Number two, now we look at the part of the brain responsible for lying. So for centuries, everybody thought that the frontal part of the human brain was responsible for sight because of course it's at the front of your head. But we know now that the part responsible for vision is actually at the back of the brain. So if you fall back and hit the back of your head, it could affect your sight or make your eyes go cross-eyed. But now science shows us that the frontal part of our brain or the prefrontal cortex text is responsible for forming intelligent thoughts like creating lies. And Muslims quote the Quran Surah 96 verse 16 that says, a lying sinful forehead, which indicates that lying is happening in the front of your head. Now number one, we have planets, stars, and all of the celestial bodies are actually moving. For centuries it was believed that the earth was fixed and the sun and the moon and other planets and the stars and all that revolved around the earth. But an interesting passage from the Quran that the Muslims point to is Surah 39 verses 5 and it says, Allah created the heavens and the earth in truth. He overlaps the night over the day and overlaps the day over the night and enslaves the sun and the moon all move to a pre-recorded destiny. Oh, starting at number 10, here we have living things formed from water. And the Quran says, do those who disbelieve not see that the heavens and the earth were sewn together and then we unstitched them and that we made from water every living thing? So will they not then believe? And that's taken from Surah 21 verses 30. Also in Surah 24 verses 45 it says, Allah created every living creature from water. Geological studies have confirmed that water is not only the first and the main compound in all living things, but also it precedes the existence of all created beings. Next up at number nine, we have the duality of creation. The Quran specifically says, and it is he who spread out the earth and set thereon mountains standing firm and flowing rivers and the fruit of every kind he made in pairs, two and two, male and female. He draws the night as a veil over the day. Behold, verily in these things are signs for those who reflect. This is taken from Surah 13 verses 3. Here we see things created in pairs. Now there's another verse in the Quran that says, he who has made for you the earth like a carpet spread out has enabled you to go about therein by roads and channels and has sent down water from the sky. With it, we have produced diverse pairs of plants. And that's taken from Surah 20 verses 50. Three, the Quran has several verses like this. Another one as an example, glory be to him who created all the pairs from what the earth produces and from themselves and from things unknown to them. And that's taken from Surah 36 verses 36. Moving on now to number eight, we're gonna be looking at the female honeybee. Now check this out, honeybees have three various forms. There's a queen bee, that's the reproductive female. Then there's the drone bee, which is the male. And then the worker bees are the non-reproductive females. Each of these have their role. The non-reproductive female bee is responsible for making the honey. And that's what the Quran speaks about in Surah 16 verses 68 to 69. It says as follows, your Lord revealed to the bees, build dwellings in the mountains and the trees, and also in the structures which men erect. Then eat from every kind of fruit and travel the paths of your Lord, which have been made easy for you to follow. From inside them comes a drink of varying colors, containing healing for mankind. There is certainly a sign in that for people who reflect. So in this verse, the verbs build eat and travel, they're written in the female form in the original Arabic language. But while we're on the topic of bees and honey, 
we have to mention at number seven that honey brings healing. In chapter 16 of the Quran is Surah Al-Nal and that is translated as the bees in English. In this chapter, specifically in verse 69, this is what it has to say. Then eat from all of the fruits and follow the ways of your Lord laid down for you. There emerges from their bellies a drink varying in colors in which there's healing for people. Indeed, this is a sign for those who reflect. So I pretty much just read that in the previous entry, but research now shows that antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties are found in honey. It also helps against infections and in the regrowth of tissue when our body is healing. Honey also contains antioxidants that help to prevent heart problems and cancer. Let's talk about gender at number six. The Quran states that one's masculinity or femininity is actually created out of a drop of sperm that has been ejected. And the Quran says the following, he has created both sexes, male and female, from a drop of semen which has been ejected. That's taken from Surah 53 verses 45 to 46. And now it's widely known that human sex is determined by the male sperm with the female cells playing really no role in the sex determination process. At number five, we look at the mountains having roots as well as floating. So the highest point of the earth is in the Himalayas at Mount Everest standing at 8.8 .8 kilometers high. Now this mountain has actually 250 kilometers of deep roots. This was recorded in Life Science Depth of Himalayan Mountain Roots revealed back in the year 2010. Now the Quran in two places says mountains as pegs as well as it says and mountains he anchored. So pegs are used to hold a tent or something in place and pegs have a part of it above the ground as well as another part that's into the ground and the Arabic word means anchored and this is actually a term that applies to ships floating on water like when they're anchored to land. So similarly this is how mountains or other landforms really actually float above a semi-molten asthenosphere. Yeah google that term asthenosphere. Female ants come in at number four so check this, all male ants have wings, all worker ants are females, and all ants that don't have wings are females. Now in the Quran, Surah 27 verse 18, it mentions this, until when they came upon the valley of ants and the ants said, oh ants, enter your home so that you do not be crushed by Solomon and his soldiers while they do not feel it. Now for the word said, kala is for males and kalat is for females. Now the Quran of course uses kalat for females. So if the ants actually had wings, it would have just flown away. However, they didn't have an option in this context in the Quran, but rather they had to go and hide into their home. So Muslims believe that the ant is correctly addressed as a female in this passage, which they identify as being another miracle. Number three, the universe is expanding. So scientists today do not know what dark energy actually is, but they do know, however, that it exists and it's causing the entire universe universe to expand. In the Quran Surah 51 verse 47 it says, and the heaven we built with craftsmanship and we are still expanding. The Quran also said that everything is made of pairs and today we know that all matter is actually in pairs. So matter and antimatter, electrons and positrons and, and so on. And in the Quran Surah 36 verse 36 it says, glory to him who created in pairs all things that the land produces and their own kind and other things of that they have no knowledge of. And finally at number one, continental drift. So back in the year 2014, the National Geographic published, how do we know the continents are moving? And this is what they said. 50 years ago, continental drift was a fringe hypothesis rejected by most geologists. Today, the theory of plate tectonics is universally accepted as true and unifies one separate areas of geology under one grand banner. There are mountains of evidence that plate tectonics had taken place in our planet's past. Now, the Muslims point to Quran 27 verses 88 and it says, you see the mountains and think they are firmly fixed, but they are moving away just like the clouds are moving away. Away. Oh.